خنا وامري و دخي بيديد يا ولا انبغريت اي خالا ميري طالي شوب حقو ثب حقو ذاك امرن طالا وخن اند لاخلت انبغر برناشا وشاتو تندمي لتوخن خايب قنومو وخن Jesus said I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And this bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day for my flesh is food indeed and my blood is drink indeed. Shuha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. I think you can do better. God is good. All the time. All the time. Now we are thankful to our Father, God Almighty, for many, many blessings that we have. First of all, we are thankful to God for the blessings of you children, boys and girls who are receiving their first communion. We're thankful for the gift of your parents and families who are present here today. And your volunteers and the teachers and everyone who's present and celebrating you and everyone who prepared you to stand right here today to receive Christ in your heart. Now we're thankful for the gift of life, for everything that God has given us. Now today also we are thankful for a new priest that's going to serve St. George with us. Abuna Kevin Yono today is his first day with us here at St. George. <laughs> well, that really deserved the hell hula, it's good. <laughs> Abuna, Kevin, Abuna Kevin and I, we're thankful to serve all of you today and be good instruments of God's love and God's graces and good instruments of the sacraments to you, especially to you boys and girls. Let's give you a big hand. Mm 
Now, nothing can stop us from receiving Jesus, right? Nothing in this world can stop us. We made sure of this. No pandemic, no lockdown order, nothing. Because the main thing today is you guys and boys and girls are receiving Jesus. Do you agree with me? Yes. Now, God the Father has given you to your families as a blessing. That's why your families are so happy and joyous and prepared everything. Even your haflat today and the food you have prepared and the celebrations you have prepared are not for anything else but because you're receiving Christ in your heart. Now parents, remember that day when you presented your children to be baptized? Remember that day? It was just like yesterday, right? They were wearing white. And today you are wearing white again. But you're grown ups. You know exactly what you're doing. So God the Father gave you as a blessing to your parents and as a blessing also to the church. You received that already when you were born. We're standing here because God blessed us. We are breathing. Try to breathe this air because God blessed us. No matter where we are today, no matter what we do, you woke up this morning, you have a home, you had breakfast, your pictures were taken, you dressed up, you are present here. You're standing in front of God and His altar. This is a great blessing to the parents as well. So your parents are a blessing to you and you are a blessing to your parents. God the Father. Now when you were baptized, you received something very special. Do you know what that is? What did you receive during your baptism? What did you receive? You can say it from your place, it's okay. What did you receive during your baptism? Look at you, you guys remember your classes, amazing. So you received the gift of the Holy Spirit during your baptism. And that Holy Spirit made you strong. And you took that, the gift of the Holy Spirit with you home, right? And sometimes you need to decide certain things in your life. What should I do? And Christ always enlightened you with that decision. That's the gift of the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, we can't do anything. The bread and wine today during Mass will be coming. The body and blood of Jesus Christ by the power of what? Do you think by the power of the priest? No, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's so special today. Now today, the Father, the Holy Spirit, and today you're receiving what? Jesus, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right? Today you're receiving Jesus in your heart. So your life is complete. Your life is full. When you receive Jesus, you are one with Him and He is going to be one with you. This is very important to remember. Christ is always present here. Christ is always waiting for you. So can you eat only once and live and that's it? You gotta eat every day, right? To stay strong, to stay functional, you need to eat every day. Food, food is very important. So there is food for the body, and there is food for the spirit, the soul. And that's the responsibility of the parents. Baba Watha Yumatha. Now your kids cannot drive now, I, ho I hope not. But it is your responsibility, parents who are present here today. It is your moral and ethical and Christian responsibility to bring your kids to receive communion. Otherwise, whatever we're doing today is nothing. Now, you got to show them the way. It's not only by dropping them off at church, not only by asking them to pray. You want unity at your family? Pray together. A family that prays together stays together and this is the power this is the power of christianity this is the power of our faith it does not come from nothing it comes from prayer 
We can be strong in many other things. We can be known about a lot of things. Parents, we can be known about our haflat. We can be known about our good food. And this is good. We can be known about a lot of things. But the main thing we should be known of, how close we are to the heart of Jesus. And this is your responsibility. The day that you said yes in front of the altar, it was not only yes to your spouse, to your husband, or to your wife. It was yes to raise a good Christian family. On that day, you took that responsibility. For you kids, make sure. I'm going to teach your kids against you guys. Make sure you nag. Are you good at nagging? Yeah, I guess you are. Every Sunday, every Sunday, you tell mom and dad, mom and dad, I need, I need Christ in my life. I need to receive Jesus. Because if you want to stay strong in your spirit and you need to make good decisions in your life, you need Jesus every Sunday in your heart. And that's the maintenance that you will keep every Sunday. You receive Christ every Sunday. You receive Him every Sunday. You grow closer and closer to Him. And I think the Abunas agree with me on that. We are who we are. The servers, the choirs, and everyone, we are who we are. And a lot of you actually I see during Sunday Masses. And I love that. Not because it makes us feel good. I love that because it makes us feel one in Christ. So, Congratulations again to you boys and girls on receiving Jesus. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is complete in your heart today. Everything is complete. To the parents, congratulations to you and your families. I ask the Lord to bless you with many graces. To bless you, may this communion that your kids are receiving today bring you and bring you to your families and, and work and everything you do a lot of blessings. We ask this through the intercession of our Mother Mary, through the intercession of our patron saint, Saint George. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. To you, to you boys and girls, let's give a big hand again. God bless you all. God bless you.